We are going to introduce you to number one threat down here in South Florida that will kill your dog. They'll kill alligators. These will kill crocodiles. What to do? Let your dog know that the toads are electrified. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and American Overwatch Canine Services. In this episode though, I need you to call me Wrangler. Toad Wrangler. And we are going to introduce you to what is known to us around here as the Bufo Toad, or the Cane Toad, or the Totus Familiaris, no, don't, I don't know about the lat word. <laughs> They're an invasive species, been around here for I think 80 or 100 years, maybe a little longer than that. There is no uh, predator out here in South Florida that is able to keep the numbers down, so they, they're like crazy. And long story short, number one threat down here in South Florida that will kill your dog. Let's take a look. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And when I tell you we caught them in an area about 50 by 50 feet, I'd be exaggerating. Um, they like to find a little tunnel, hide under your AC. They have all these little crawl spaces and then at night they come out. And when they come out, especially when it rains, man, it's a super, super deadly threat to your dog. What makes these guys so nasty is that when the dog comes and puts their mouth on them and they think their life's in danger, they'll secrete a real nasty toxin. And that right there, that toxin, will give your dog uh, seizures, uh, knock it unconscious, and can even kill it if you don't get the dog treated within a, a couple of hours. If we let a dog go off leash to the bathroom on our beautiful acre, they want to run free, what are the chances of them running across a toad? Hanging out in the grass, under a tree or something. What's Fido doing over there in the bushes? By the time you go over there and see, he may have already put his mouth on the toad, the toad's already hopped off, and you may have no reaction whatsoever. You may not know that he's ingested the poison. And even if you do, it's a whole other affair trying to get that poison out. These guys are so nasty, they'll kill alligators. If you're in Australia, these will kill crocodiles. They'll for sure kill your dog. Then nothing can eat them, nothing. So what to do? And that's what this, this conversation is about. What do you do? Let your dog know that the toads are electrified. And by the way, don't try this at home. I cannot recommend you do this. I'm just letting you know this is what we do. I don't recommend it. Do not try this at home. Please read the description in the box below, uh, provided by my lawyer, uh, blah, 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 blah. You can't do it. You shouldn't do it. I'll just let you know we, what we do here with every client's dog, with the client's permission. I've yet to have one say no. So this is what we would call an aversive use of the e-collar. Not used often. It's used for things that are life or death. I'm going to explain this to you very quickly because I know the, the hater rate is going to happen. Y'all are going to lose your minds. You're going to get PETA to come over here and try to serve me with a subpoena. I'm going to wipe my ass with it. What we're doing is going to save dogs' lives. Already has saved dogs' lives. We'll continue to do so. You're going to see dogs get stimulated by this on a pretty high level. Not the highest level, pretty high. For a total, a grand total, whether you're doing two or maybe three reps of this tool, a grand total of a one and a half to maybe two seconds maximum. Two seconds out of the entire dog's life where they're gonna get an ouch, which is gonna keep them from ever chasing down or putting a toad in its mouth for the rest of their life. I think it's a pretty good equation if you ask me. Two seconds to save their life. I'll take it all day. There is no other way to train this. There is no other way to train this. There ain't a treat in the world that's gonna teach your dog to avoid toads. It's just not gonna happen. And if there is, if I'm such an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about, post in the comments below. Send me to the, to the video that explains how to keep your dogs from chasing toads. If your dog comes across a toad, I want it to, to know for a fact that, that all toads are electrified under all circumstances. And it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. The red lights are gonna activate together. That's the vibration. Here's the shock. Right here, ready for it? One, two, three. You, you'll know. <laughs> My whole neck's gonna jerk. See? That's two hits. But if that's all I have to do to a dog to keep them from not dying from a toad, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm tired of the excuses and the nonsense and the positive only dog trainers. Take your dog to a positive only dog trainer and let them figure out how to keep the dog from chasing a bufo toad. They don't have an answer, ain't gonna happen. All right, this is Flash, eight month old German Shepherd. I have no idea how he's gonna react to a, a cane toad or a bufo toad, but we're gonna pull one out of our little uh, holding uh, thing there and see what he does. Just want him to see that hop. 
once he sees that, it should be it should be go time. This might be what we need right here. Missed it. Didn't even notice. So have you noticed we had a moment there where the dog ran right over the toad. His nose has to touch it. He has to be fully committed to, to the toad. And he's just so manic right now, he doesn't can't even notice the toad. There he goes. Not committed to it yet. Just checking it out. Let's step away. I don't want it to have anything to do with us as best we can. It always takes more than one, one hit. Because now he's wondering, damn, was it the grass that got me? Was it the leash? We need to clarify for him what it was that caused that. But the movement, that prey drive is usually enough to take him to, he's like, you know what? That hurt, but it didn't kill me. So let me, let me check this out a little more here and see. So that's his second hit. It always, always, always takes at least two hits, sometimes three. <laughs> as you can see with my boy here. Different reaction though, he goes, nah, nah, you know what? You know what? Not for me. When I was like eight years old, give or take, um, I was at my, my house with my parents and they used to keep the good stuff, man, the treats, way up atop the microwave. I'm climbing on up, I'm up, I'm halfway up. I got my knee on the stove and I'm reaching up and I feel this really, really crazy sensation of cold, like an instant, like icy cold. And I'm like, that's weird. What is that? And then I smell something burning. And then about two seconds in, I'm like, ah! And my knees on, it was so hot, it was cold. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. It was so freaky hot, I thought it was cold until I realized, no, you, your, your knee is burning up. I guess he's thinking better on it. I never climbed up there for a, a snack again. That or I found a new way to do it, but I didn't need my mom to come in there and yell at me to tell me not to climb on the stove. Look at that reaction. No stem needed. It's the toad. The toad is taking on the power of the e-power. The stove told me, and I learned my lesson that day. If it hurts your feelings, I, I tell it to people all the time. This channel is not for you, and there's nothing in the comments below that's gonna make me you know, change how I do things. And again, it, the, it, the opportunity is open. You can show me to a video that there's a better way to teach this. I am game. In the game of e-collar work, this is less than 0.5% out of 100%. Uh, this is nothing. It's a very small piece of the pie, but an unbelievably important piece for folks where it matters. You don't have toads in your area? Great. You don't have rattlesnakes? Great. Maybe you'll never have to use this for anything, but uh, you know, in South Florida, it's something we have to do with every dog that comes through our program. And I, I feel better about it. So thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and uh, call 1-800-PETA if you didn't like what we did. You can contact my lawyer. See you on the next video.